What up, JJ Dio? We got a um, Me vs. Master this week. Um, this is actually a makeup game. I thought we were playing Thursday, but apparently we're playing tonight, and I'm playing my other game Thursday, so, you know, we gotta do a quick little baby prep. Um, I don't know, I still hate my team. Uh, bundle looks really good versus him, though. Like, it looks really fucking good, so we'll put on Bundle. Um, I'm not really worried about Bundle v. Bundle type of scenarios at the moment. Maybe I will later in prep. Um, I will say Ogre Pond also looks really good. Uh, does he get rock move? Yeah, it gets rock tomb. That probably does enough to Moltres to feel comfortable. Uh, so we'll go Kudge. Yeah, we'll go Kudge for fire move. We'll go power whip. We'll go rock move. Uh, and then we can go... I mean, honestly, I'm pretty comfortable with these moves. Uh, we could do, like... This thing doesn't get synth, does it? Oh, it does. Wow, that's crazy. Did it get synthesis? Uh, we'll consider synth. Uh, over U-turn. I'm gonna try to build this this matchup with like less mo le less pivoting in mind because I just don't think that's what this kind of team is. Uh, I think Zach does Galler looks really good. Just being choice banded, I think works best. And just going Brave Bird CC. This one I will put U-turn on. Um, and it doesn't get a rock move, does it? No, I get Ancient Power. Um, probably knockoff just being best final move. Um, that's probably cool. Uh, yeah, Bundle's not going to be easy to switch into. I think it has to be, like, a Salt Dice Burrow. Uh, and then we throw a regen on here. And we just go Future Sight. Um, I think Scald's. Scald's probably the best there. Um, I'm not really going to have anything for the Zarud, anyways. Uh, I wish I could Thunder Wave. If I could run Thunder Wave in this matchup, it would actually feel so much better. But it's like my only mod that can actually take on hits from Bundle, I think. Uh, versus Iron Bundle. Yeah, Freeze Dry just does a billion. It's not even specs. Um, just what if I'm Max Bidef? Nah, no, I kind of have to be Max Bidef. Assault Best here. Yeah, that's like the only play. Uh, and then, uh, dude, my steel type doesn't fucking resist ice either, dude. Oh my god, I'm so tired of this fucking treads mon. I'm so tired of it being on my team, honestly. Out of all the mons, has been, like, one of the least fun mons to use. It's always forced into, like, a support role, and then, like, it can't support well enough. Like, I always need it to be a sped F guy, but it always has to be fucking fizz def, because it only has fizz def investment. Ugh. This looks like a team I actually drafted recently. It's Masters. Looks pretty pretty similar. Um, I probably bring Hydra, just because like his fairy doesn't actually resist dark. Um, probably bring this one, Scarf, Draco, U-turn. Okay, and then like, honestly, I might even bring Specs Bundle myself. I think Bundle Specs looks really good. Like, I know this is a lot of choice mons, but, but like, I don't know. They feel like the right moves. Um, Hatterene. Iron Bundle. Yeah, we do enough. Okay, and then High Dragon. Uh, flash Cannon does good damage, so we'll probably bring Flash. I actually might even pivot this thing to a nasty set. Because, like, all of his switch-ins initially don't outspeed me. This thing get agility. It gets Dragon Dance, I know, but does it get agility? No, it doesn't. I wish I had a way to boost speed with this thing that's not Dragon Dance. If I can get plus two speed, like, I just, like, cook in. Uh, my only concern is getting revenge by Zarud with this one. And, like, our Zarud count counterplay isn't the greatest. Like, it's wheezing. Uh, we'd probably, probably bring it and be Helmet with it. He doesn't have a Grounded Poison, so Toxic Spikes looks really good. Uh, Helmet... Uh, pain split. He has guys with a good bit of HP. Um, sludge for sure needs to come. I like this is a semi switch into the Garchomp, but uh, just a, a little thing for everybody watching. If you play against regular Weezing, um, Garchomp beats regular Weezing with subs, so you have to be ready for that. Uh, but with this Weezing, we're probably chilling, just going something like this, I think. This looks fine. Just dual stab it. Like, we're walled by, by fucking uh, Metagross, but, like, Metagross can't beat Slowbro. Actually, I think Metagross just got knockoff, didn't it? Didn't they give fucking Metagross knockoff? 
Yeah, they gave it knockoff. Okay, so it'll be knocking me off. So we should probably have, like, a backup plan for it. Um, I can see, like, Hearthflame not actually coming. I, I can see myself not bringing Hearthflame and then actually bringing our, um, our Ampharos. Uh, also with leftovers because of Zarud. Like, this mon should take Zarud hits pretty fine. Like, yeah, that's no investment if you go, go fizz def with it. Yeah, we're, we should be fine like this then. Um, and this will be our Thunder Wave mon. With Volt Switch. Um. We could just, like, Meteor Beam shenanigans. One, one of these weeks we'll bring Agility Meteor Beam with power. I think that'll be a fun set. We'll, we'll bring it one of these weeks. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't really get much outside. I mean, it gets screens, so we could run, like, Reflect. Which I like having Reflect. Does it get Light Screen as well? It does. So we'll probably just bring this kind of set. I think this is fine. And we make it Fizzed up as well. And this takes off a lot of our pressure off our Weezing. Um... And I do kind of want to just go nasty with Hydra then, if these two are going to be choice the whole time. Hydro, Freeze, uh, Ice Beam, and I like Flip Turn. I mean, hey, only half our team has, oh, never mind, more than, yeah, only half our team has momentum. One, two, three, all right. We're, we're breaking out of our, our one trick shell. Um, I kind of want to break Foul Play on this as well, because it can live a hit from like SD Chomp and then Foul Play it down. Um, and then I don't really know what I want last move to be. It could be body press, because it hits the rude, maybe. It doesn't really hit it. I, I guess it hits bundle, right? So body press would hit bundle. Even though bundle has a billion fucking defense. This thing hit thunderbolt. No, it doesn't. Uh, how much does that do to a, um, iron bundle? Uh, slow, bro. We're not Fizz Def, we're Spud Def. How much does Body Press do? Uh, that's fine enough, I feel. That's probably good enough damage. Uh, do we need to be 100% Spud F in this? Like, is that, like, what is absolutely needed? Because if not, then we'll go, uh, we'll invest more. No, we don't need to be 100%. Actually, I guess, I guess Specs it would. Yeah, Specs we should probably... Probably be max put up for it. That's fine. I mean, like, 44 to 52 is good enough. Like, can we bump it up to, like, a more closer to, like, a 50? Yeah, there we go. Without a lot of investment, we can just do 32 in, and it's fine enough. And we'll do 224 split up. That's fine. That won't make or break the, the rolls, I don't think. Uh, Galar guy. Um, base 90 is what you need to speed. What is that? Like, three? that's not 317, is it? I mean, there's no way he's fast Miltrace anyways, right? It's 306. But, like, I don't think I'm getting too much more out of it by not respecting it. It's 306. I need to go a little more. Okay, it goes 308. Sure. And then just we'll go max speed bundle. In case it comes down to the speed tie, right? And then, like, a nasty Hydra with, like... I don't really know what I want to do. It could be, like, Expert Belt... Um, Hatterene versus Hydreigon. If it's Spud F, is there any item that gets us there? I don't think so. Uh, Expert Belt. Belt would do good. Uh, we don't have rocks on our team, do we? No, we don't. I love T Spikes, but like, you know. Uh, okay. So if we go like. No, I mean, for Expert Belt, it's probably, like, not even worth it at that point. I think I'd rather just go, like... Honestly, it might just be Life Orb. I don't like Life Orb all that much, but, like, I think it's fine enough. And then this one, we will out just do the same speed as the other guys. So it's 307. Or 308, rather. Uh, sure. I think it's, this is fine, isn't it? I don't know. We'll just have to play fine. Uh, oops. I'll pause and then we'll get into the game. Alright, we're back in the game. Um, we've got, uh, I'm gonna adjust audio. Apparently, like, my, my audio, every time I rewatch a video, it's super loud, so I'm gonna try to adjust it here. Maybe it's a little bit better now. Um, let's post the replay. 
Jesus Christ, dude, why is there's too many fucking channels in the server, dude? Uh, I don't know, I'm supposed to get there. Uh, at team, uh, at delinquents. Okay, there we go. Yeah, Ampharos made it. Uh, I'm, I'm not mad about my Ampharos choice either. It looks really good here, actually. So, uh, he did bring the Belly Jolt. Um, I don't really know who I want to lead here. Like, Zapdos seems fine. Like, it outspeeds most of the shit that he does, that he has off lead. Uh, Metagross could be annoying. It could even just be, like, an Ampharos lead, straight up. Um, because it leads up into everything. It's not named Garchomp. We can always just go hard wheezing at Garchomp, you know? I kind of like it, actually. There's the Metagross lead. Yeah, we'll Thunder Wave here. That's fine. Uh, I'm so down for that damage. Uh, super down for that. Uh, Ampharos, you've done your job, pretty much. Let's see that damage. Um, earthquake. Jesus Christ, why'd that do some? Why'd that do 81? Dude, he is fucking max attack adamant for sure, dude. Um, so he probably expects, like, Weezing or Hydra to come in here. So what's his counterplay to those two? I could also just do Zapdos. Is it middle ground's most bonds? Uh, I'd like to keep Hydra in the back a little bit longer. Oh, uh, we can go Weezing, though, and get our T-Spike up. Because, like, I think he'll go Belly Bolt, if anything. Uh, Weezing seems really fine. Because, like, it also covers, like, if Blastoise comes in. It covers, like, every pivot. Yeah, there we go. We got him. Okay, cool. Uh, I kind of want to throw off a T-Spike here. John Wall, dude. Do we have anything for Mr. John Wall? Fuck. Uh, I just need so much damage we do. Uh. Oh, I'm dazzling. We're not even we're not even fake steam or whatever the fuck it's called. Strange steam. Uh, I think it's fine, honestly. I'd rather hit. Um, and it gets, this thing gets Iron Head. Yeah, that shouldn't do any real damage. And we could always, um, paint split after. If he stays in, he almost just, he might just be, um... He might be, uh, weakness policy, you know what I'm saying? So, like, this also gets us scout a little bit. It doesn't- we're not letting him scale shot, though. That's the important thing. We can always revenge this with Bundle, as long as he doesn't get a scale shot off. There we go, we should be chilling here. Yeah, I'm, I'm so down for this uh, to be a paralyzed banded Metagross. It makes uh, playing around it way easier. I just really wasn't ready for fucking banded. Like, that, that did way more damage than I was expecting. There's the Metagross again. We got our T-Spike up. Back into Amphi. Uh, we could also make the Bro play, but I don't want to get knocked. Like, do you not care, though? Like, I feel like you click a fucking steel move. We'll go, we'll go Ampharos. Like, if it dies, it dies. There's Bullet Punch. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm gonna throw for a Reflect now. Uh, yeah, we can throw for a Reflect here. I mean, because we'll always live this BP. Hmm. If he pivots, then we just get some more HP back on Amphi. Yeah, who said who said Ampharos gaming might be short lived? This Ampharos is putting in work. Yeah, we're putting in work with this. Because if he does pivot, then take the poison, bro. Take your poison. And I don't think you go hard stoice here. Yeah, he pp again. Nice. Okay, so Metagross. Actually, what percent am I at? I'm at 11. I could volt. I can volt out now and get a free pivot. I was gonna hard swap, but like I might as well just volt. Yeah, dude. Look how fucking much work Ampharos is putting in right now, dude. Fuck yeah. Oh, uh, so our play now. I think we can go Hydra. 
It's max deck adamant choice band. Um, not Zapdos into high dragon. Uh, bullet punch. And I have a reflect up. There it is. Yeah, only just seventeen. Oh, I could actually just click Draco here too. That's the great part. I could click Draco. Yeah, I think Draco's honestly fine. Like, we could nasty, but like, I mean Zuru comes in. How much does Zuru take from a Draco? That shit does a billion percent, dude. What about the Metagross? Just being max HP? Yeah, I mean, we still do 40 to 47, so then we'll be at minus 2. And then... He'll die to a uh, Dark Pulse after. Yeah, give me the Zerg damage. Jewel Embiid. Uh-oh. Ah, awesome. Damn, that's a dead fucking Zerg, dude. Man, come on, man. That shit's dead as hell. Unless it's unless it's AV, but then I would know it's AV. I mean, we still have a Reflect up. How much does, like, a Close Combat do? That shit doesn't do any damage to me, actually. Yeah, I'm cooking it again. Yeah, you turn. That's fine. I mean, that's annoying. This one should be fucking super goobed in damage, but whatever. We know it's speed invested at least. Just 26 to Hydra with U turn. So it's like just max attack. 26. Yeah, so it's like just max attack. Well, yeah, so it's definitely. It definitely should die then, right? Because it's speed and it's offensive, but then even if it has an assault vest. The Draco does 50 at least. Uh, here we can just go Amphi, I think. There's no reason to take any more damage on Hydra. Um. And we should go Slowbro now and throw up a Scald. No, actually, I think a Future Sight's fine. Yeah, I think we throw up a Future Sight now. There's the dude. Uh, we can go into Weezing Geller now. He's pinging me. Leave me alone, please. Thank you. Okay. As he turns again. Takes his helmet damage. I mean, Zerd's going down, man. I just really wish we had a fucking Draco earlier. We'd be in so much better of a position. I don't really know what his counterplay to this is, though. Is it go meta? He's looking like me out here, only cooking momentum moves. I'm gonna turn my music down so I can actually commentate a little bit better. Okay, so, um, I realistically think he goes into Metagross here, and then we're gonna have to pivot out again on with Weezing, because, like, we don't want to take, like, a banded bullet punch. Like, that's just a lot of damage we don't feel like taking. We'll probably go slow, bro, because even if we get knocked, like, if we get knocked, that's worst case. I actually think he will lock in or knock if he goes into the meta. The play might just be to do Hydra, then. Just middle ground it, take the damage on Hydra. Because, like, HP on Hydra is not the most important at the moment. It's like, we're already going to be chipping ourselves down in anyways. So, like, we're always going to be low. I don't know what he wants to go for. Yeah, it's the meta here. And then, yeah, I think we should go Hydra now. Um, meta. Gross. Just to scout what he's clicking first and foremost. Choice banded with bullet punch into Hydra without a Reflect. I mean, yeah, he'll do 35. But, like, I'd rather take 35 and then not get knocked on Slowbro. He tricked us. Okay. Sure. I'd rather. I'd still rather that happen than Slowbro to get tricked. Um. I mean, yeah, like, that just means we're not looking nasty. Like, we lose out on damage, but, like, we don't have, we don't need to Life Orb as much as we did. Uh, I think we just go Dark Pulse. Like, there's enough damage already on Zerud that, like, we don't need to invest into a Draco here. Alright, well, surely one of those turns is, de is deserved, right? Sure, surely that pair is deserved. 
So he knows we're locked in now. Uh, if it's Zarud, like, still. Okay, there's Bundle. Um, I feel like we gotta go Burrow here. Like, we just have to see what its item is. Freeze dry. It's Spexed. Okay. Oh, we just don't, you know, switch in after that. Anyways, that's that's the worst part. Well, I mean, we know it's Choice Specs. Um, uh, choice Specs. Freeze dry. Kills Hydra. Weezing takes 65. Zapdos will die. Bro is in range. Unless I just say, hey, fuck you. Don't get another high roll. 53.3. Yeah, I mean, if I just go up, he gets... No, actually, no. Mineral would still do it. Uh, Hydra obviously dies. Uh, Bundle dies, right? Yeah, Bundle will die. So it's like probably just sack off Hydra now. Like, we know it's item at least. Um, oh, we're, I just realized we are banded on our Zabdos. I thought we were Scarf. Whoops. Uh, I had a Scarfer, I think, and then I swapped. Yeah, Hydra was Scarfed. Um, we just gotta sack off Hydra now. Uh, I mean, it's getting lower and lower now. So, we go into our bundle. Uh, he does not have great freeze dry switch ins himself, so uh, it's gonna be poisoned. It'll be AV, yeah. Uh, we did forty three last time. I'm just gonna click it again. T spike's gonna go a long way for us here. I should I should probably calc what the roll was. Um, well, it's obviously a soul vest. No no slow, no no guy takes that little from specs bundle without being AV. Forty-three is the mineral, so it's dead. Yeah, it just dies there. Then uh, it might be Scarf Zaruda. I mean, we're still fine, assuming like we just need to be able to take the bundle on. Uh, fuck. Wait, this one's actually annoying. Can we slow, bro. Alright, Mr. Belly Bolt. Mr. Belly. Uh, you don't do too much there. Um, you actually do less to slow, bro. I think it's still wheezing, though. Hmm. Because I can get into Zapdos later, I feel. I mean, Zapdos shouldn't die to one, right? Zapdos doesn't die to one. But, like, we just don't kill it in return. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the issue is that we don't kill it in return. But realistically, all we do need to do... All we need to do is hit a uh, freeze dry... Or, not freeze dry. We, we need to get into the freeze dry range. That That's the important part, right? So we need to get it to about 50. So, like, if we can get into Zapdos... I, I think he's going to Thunder Wave anyways. Like, I'm expecting a Thunder Wave. Um... I think Slowbro can take the one hit. That's fine. We're out of range of a uh, butler, uh, butler, Jimmy Buckets, of oh, the bundler. We're out of range of a freeze dry now. Right. I can type uh, Uber specs into Slowbro. 56.8 is the max. We're at 55.6, so. Oh, I'll take this all day. We should be out of range. Unless he's fucking getting the max, max, max roll, or if he's modest. We should always live the hit here. And I think we need to, Like, I think, like. Sacking a different mon doesn't make sense, you know? There we go. Nice. Okay, right, it was out of range. Okay, we should be fine now. We should be fine, because Weezing should beat the two big threats at the end, and then Belly Bolt's the hardest one to beat. Uh, I actually think I'm going to keep health on Weezing as well, so when he goes to Rude, I'm actually going to go into Gapdos. Because if he U-turns then into Belly Bolt, it'll take 12, and then I'll just CC the, uh, the Belly Bolt, I think. And then if Zarude's uh, Scarf, it can never beat Weezing. And then Garchomp shouldn't beat Weezing either. If he goes Garchomp now, we're going to go hard Weezing. Uh, to not give him any speed boosts. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that seems the right play. I'm not exactly sure. There's the belly, actually. Um, 
I feel like we could just sack off bro then, yeah? I feel like we could just sack off bro. Yeah, that's fine with me. Let, let bro die, and then he uh, repositions into somebody else. There's the Zarud. I think we just go Zapdos. Uh, we go Zapdos, and we can even click U-turn if we really wanted to. It'll kill Zarud, but I think uh, Bra or CC is the best play. Yeah, I think CC is the best play. Because it'll do enough to Belly Bolt. If he hard goes Belly Bolt, now he dies. I guess I should have calculated what a, a rock move does from Zarud. Uh, rock move. I guess rock. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't think it gets slide, but we'll calc slide. I don't want to check its moves there right now. Yeah, we're chill. Just making sure. There's the rock tomb. That gives us our defiant boost. Yeah. That's tough, man. Now we're banded plus three. Or plus two, so... I mean, we probably just died to a scale shot now from Chomp, but, like, we just never let that position transpire. I think we're fine. I think we're, I think we're chilling. I think we win this one. There's the chomp, we go wheezing here. We cannot let it, uh, I just don't think we can let it. Oh, it was Lumberry. See, so yeah, it's definitely SDing. It's for sure SD here. Um. I guess I should just do the, the SD one, right? Scale shot, and I'm at minus one defense. Yeah, three hits would kill me in this range. So we go wheezing. Yep, there it is. We can't let him get the boosts. That's that. That's the lose con, is him getting boosts. And we know it's not a... We know it doesn't have anything else, so... Because, like, even, even if it does kill... Like, Weezing just never swaps now, pretty much. That's that's the kind of position we're in. Uh, I could literally see it... Since we know that uh, Dazzling doesn't two-shot, I could see it. The, cl uh, the click here actually being... Um... I could see the click being, like, bundle. Or I could just go for the sludge here. Because, like, Dazzling, it's not a guaranteed ch uh, kill, but uh, well, one, a poison would be good. Two, it catches the belly bolts on switching. Actually, it doesn't even do damage to it either. Dazzling does just about the same, but it could snag a poison. Uh, I just think you go belly hard belly bolt here. Like, I'm pretty sure just hard belly. Like, I want to go Zapdos, if I'm real. It would just suck if he clicked steel move. Because it's probably SD scale shot, steel move, like Iron Head. I mean, but here's the worst thing, right? We should stay out of uh, fucking Iron Head range. As long as we stay out of Iron Head range of this guy. I'm gonna fucking switch it back to the right guard chomp. Um, Iron Head. So as long as you stay out of this range, we could um we can pain split it back, you know. Oh my shutdown's doing the weird thing again, where it freezes. It's so weird. Uh so yeah, I mean we just go. I don't think you iron head raw dog here though, right? And just take all that damage. So if I go for a if I go for a gap dose play, right? We're not faster. That's the issue that we're not faster. I mean, as long as Bundle lives a hit from Belly, we should also be fine, right? I think we're gonna Dazzling. Yeah, he, he does make the switch, but I think it's fine. Because, like, we're gonna we're gonna make up damage versus this mod. And then I think I can... Volt switch into Weezing. Like, that just does 30. Uh, but that means that, like, on the following turn, when, when Chomp does come in, we can click Pain Split. I think he just Volts here. That's the thing. Like, I think he just gets a Volt switch off. How fast is Belly Bolt? 45, so he's slower for sure. Um, I think Sludge is fine. Like, it just doesn't do that much damage. The thing, that's the thing. Like, I'd rather go into Zapdos here. I'd rather go into Zap. 
Then just back into wheezing. Hmm. I think he's. St I, I almost want to say he just stays in. He doesn't volt. Like, he could volt, but then he goes guard chomp and takes, like, more damage. You know? Also, I said snag a poison earlier. It's already poisoned. And the guard chomp's going to come in poison, too. That's good to remember. So, like, I think we can actually afford to sap sack off Zapdos in case he does go for, like, the silly play. The, the issue is that I get into a 50 50, because then if he SDs uh, as I pivot back into Jeeweez, we lose to a Iron Head Flinch. And actually, we might not even do enough with uh, Dazzling. So, like, it's almost safer to stay with Weezing. Yeah, I think it's safer to stay, stay in with Weezing here. We'll be faster, so we just click our... Uh... We'll just click Dazzling again. It's like 2% difference. There's the 22 as he bolts, yeah. Does 31, which is fine. That's manageable amount. Um, and I think if we paint split once, we're fine. Oh, these end games are weird as fuck to play. Cause like I'm pretty sure we're fine. It's just like we have to make sure Garchomp can't win. As long as Garchomp can't win, I think we're chilling. Yeah, as long as we stay out of this right here, right? Garchomp has a lot more HP, like base HP. So I think if we pain split, we'll be out of range of a plus two. It'll deal good damage to him, and I think we'll be fine. If my Shadow wants to unfreeze. I really don't know what's wrong with my computer, man. I mean, been... oh wait, what what happened? ESD, we pain split. Okay, and then if we dazzling here, it should put him in range. Just don't flinch me. That's it. There's the helmet. There we go. Okay, we win. GGs. Oh my god. And we'll pain split again here. It should inevitably go down to the CC uh, Zapdos. Zapdos plus uh, Specs Iron uh, Iron Head, or honestly, it might just die now. GG's. We'll hold on to the last one. Dude, Ampharos was the carry here. Straight up, Ampharos was the carry, bro. L look how many moves it could. It could three moves before dying, bro. Hasta la vista, baby. Okay. Well, I I'll catch you guys later. I'll upload this right now.